Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to the Peruvian Mystery and we're going to Phantom Long Canoe. Our tasks are in the dead of the night, seek out the Phantom Long Canoe. I went ahead and caught three of the Jacunda out of the fort. Uh, the Bayara as well as the Payara. I caught one out of two of those. Let's try to get a head start so the video well, is not as long as, uh, you know, not as long. Um, and then with that, we'll get the silicone from the locals at the uh, Torango village at night. So here we go. I already did read the fourth page of the diary. So next we're going to go visit the canoe in the dead of night, which I am in a night. So that works out well. So let's get to it. And hopefully I can catch one more of those each fairly easy. I got to rent the boat for $5,000. And, uh, you know, like I said, I don't have... Big fancy boat, so I'm using a rental boat. And remember, if you're not sure where to locate, where you need to go, always check the PDA. Because right here it is. In the dead of the night, seek out the Phantom Long Canoe. That's what we're doing. Dead of night, we're seeking out the Phantom Long Canoe. Oh. Is that off in the distance? Some red fog coming off the water? Spooky. Or it looks like it to me. So I hope you guys are enjoying the videos at this point. They're not very big, uh, you know, they're not a big production. They're just straight to the point. Um, you know, my first attempt at trying to do these for you guys. I hope you like them. So, so they're straight to the point, and hopefully it's just you get these missions done fairly easy or you can tell your friends about them and say hey I'm not sure where to go or how to do this so if we point it on my channel it'd be greatly appreciated all right so off in distance there we see the phantom long canoe now of course down here don't forget you're gonna have your great friends the piranhas that are gonna love all the bait that we get to throw out so here we go did that so what I'm gonna do is fast forward to the morning peak you do not have to catch the fish in your task. Yeah, well, um, as noted. So let's just go start casting around these areas and see what we come up with. I know back here there are as well air pilots. So gotta be careful. I don't want to hook into an air pilot. That'd be bad news for me. So normally they're around, they're around like structures. Not that there's a structure here, but I'm just gonna do a random cast. See what we get. See if we get anything. Okay, we're looking for the Jacunda, the Bayara, or the Payara. Hopefully, we can catch these guys. If the video does get long, guys, I will cut away and just stitch it together. But I'm hoping, with any luck, I'll be able to get them uh, in a fairly quickly manner. Well, there is something chasing it now. Uh, let's see here. There's something way down there. Not sure. Uh, it's a piranha. You know, it's kind of interesting. You can see through the water because it's nice and clear, of course, for that piranha. Um, so maybe what I'll do. I thought they're more. I they more top water. There we go. So let's go back. What I want to do is respawn at the main location. I'm going to show you where I'm going to go for them. I did catch them at random locations. It wasn't nothing consistent for me. Um, but I'm going to show you where I normally cast around for them. The Pyara, I definitely got a uh, bead for because I caught plenty of those. So what's interesting is I think I lost my sound of my boat right now. Just by teleporting back. That's something I'm going to have to record here. So with a little bit shallower depth on uh, where we're fishing, we should be able to see the fish a little bit easier. Maybe. And if it's something we don't want, we just pull them line a little bit further away from them. There's something there. That looks like a jacunda, I believe. Hard to see. Want to see it? No, where was it? Did go away? I believe. I don't know. Maybe I'm imagining things. I don't see. 
If it's fish, we're going to find out shortly what it is. I don't think it went away. Oh, there's something still there. It's moving along pretty good. He right, really uses a flashlight there, don't we? <laughs> We don't want are the pesky piranhas. Alright, what I want to do now also is let's pump the hook up just a skosh. 3 we'll go to 4 -0. Give this a try. Whatever it was chasing, it did go away. Let's... Right, we're at the last of our Chikunda, finally. 
So 2.0, uh, I did, what was it, minimum depth? Yeah, 24 inch. We'll put him down here. So this is where I got him. At 5, say 40 a.m. Uh, 2.0, uh, 24 inch depth. There we go. <clears throat> On to the next one, guys. And it should be, hopefully, I think that's the tougher one again. We'll find out. So I'm going to go down here to get the Bayara and hopefully Payara. And my nice um, electric boat. <laughs> Just kidding. Yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of nice, not going to lie, the quietness of the boat. Because it was quite loud. Ooh, there's something in the water over that way. See the water activity over there to, to the left of us? That would be a good spot to fish. But I'm going to go right down here. And hopefully I have some luck. Because the Pyara and Byara should be around here. Let me try bumping to a three, maybe even four. Oh. Well, I think we have something chasing it, and it is looking silver-ish, which is good. Uh, I'm guessing by R or by R, hopefully. Uh, it looks like by R. I just I don't think of by R. Is this one? Let's see. By R. Perfect. So I needed to bump up the hook size, and I had no problem getting them then. So let's do a marker here. He is a 4-0. Uh, so here this was... I don't think, again, time really doesn't matter that much. I'm just, uh, my OCD does that. Uh, 4 24 inch depth. There we go. So, last but not least, we have the Pyara. And we're going to go to him. It's a bigger boy hook. And see if we have any luck with him. He, I had good luck with them. Um, where was it?
Let's look at a bigger fella here. Let's see what we got. That's him. Okay, that completes that portion. So now we go to the Silic we go to the Ortorongo village at night, get the silicone finger from the locals. So let me mark him, I'll show you where he's at. And what did we end up using? A six? Oh, yeah. We we're swapping back and forth here with hook sizes. All right, so we're here. Mark him. We'll say it was like 640 AM. Six oh, twenty four. All right, so there's that one. Like I said, I will edit this video out, guys, because it, it is going long. It's already got a half hour in, so this shouldn't be taking this long. So I've been fished here in a hot minute. All right, so let's go to nighttime here. Peruvian Mystery Phantom Long Canoe. Well done. Vampires beware. Silicone finger, three inch. New mission. The Vampire Bayara. To catching on a ship during this time, locals are afraid to go to water. The boats help prevent them in the dark, in the evening fogs, and in the moonlight. When the fish go hunting, no one knows what danger awaits. So then, next up is we're gonna catch the uh, vampire by Ara. So let me come back over to here. Suttinger's mead, okay. So the fa silicone finger is very similar to we're gonna need. Let's see if I brought any with me. It's right up here. However, you need a jig head. So fingers crossed, they do have jig heads here. Thank goodness. All right. Ah, we don't need a barbless. Just a regular old. Uh, three O should have bigger. Let me uh head back home you know what we'll does do that as one video and then we'll come back and make this another one so we'll catch you guys in the next one